Alrighty guys and gals, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. I am Big E, and this is City Skylines, and I have no load game. I apparently deleted my save point. I am very sorry. <laughs> um, we're gonna continue. We're gonna we're gonna continue. This is still whatever season this might be. We're gonna continue. But what I was doing here, um, under maps, I have so much crap in here that I've not used. Like like look, five years ago, a bunch of this I can't even use. And what I was trying to do, I was into the folders of City Skylines trying to get rid of this crap and uh, haven't gotten rid of any of it, apparently. But it's driving me crazy looking at all this. And unfortunately, I have no saved games, which means uh, all the work we did uh, is no longer. But that's okay. That is okay. Why is it okay? I'll tell you why. Because we're just going to start new. We are going to start brand new here. Um, and I do have a map that I've picked out. Let me see if I can find it in here. It's one of the reasons I was trying to get rid of all of that stuff. But we're going to go tropical, man. We're going to go... We're going to go tropical. It's wintertime. It's cold. A lot of people don't like the wintertime. I actually don't mind it. But we are going to go tropical so i have a map where the heck is it right here we are playing on a map called palm beach it's by this creator if you're interested in playing along you're like nah why would we do that if you're going to be laying in highways deleting them 12 times deleting save points we're going to do palm beach i took a look at this on steam it looks absolutely gorgeous um so for my da, 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 styles, I have a style loaded called Mediterranean Isle. Yes, I don't know what that's going to do for me. The map theme is this. I don't know how to pronounce this. Sicelli's, Sicelli's, I don't know what that is. But what this does is it makes the map, it changes the color on the map. And it looks really, really cool. So let's get started. Let's go right now. Palm Beach is right here. This is the map. And right down here, when you load a custom map theme, you'll find it here. And we're going to go with that. Yes, choose that. And it makes it like this. It turns the water this bright blue color, the sand nice and white. Let's start this right now. And we're going to name this. What's our city going to be called? Um, we're going to call this Paradise... Just call it paradise for right now. How's that? Yeah, I'm so sorry, guys. Um, oh, I'm not actually on the thing. There I am. How's it going? Yes. I'm a big stupid. But here, but look, this we're gonna look. I'm gonna take. We're gonna look at it in a positive light. So let's. What what could be positive about starting over? Well, one. <laughs> We have played on that map before in our first seasons of City Skylines. I want to play on something we've not done before. There was some janky stuff happening. Subscriber Island. Oh boy, look at this. Subscriber Island. Yeah, it was coming along, but this is an actual island, man. Look at this. What we're building on here. So you can see what that the map theme does to the the water and stuff and the beaches is actually a little bit too bright. I might try to tone this down a little. Look at this, man. This is absolutely beautiful. And this is all vanilla. This guy, uh, the create the content creator said it's all vanilla. All of these roads. So this is a custom map that he has built. What is this? That's kind of cool looking. So let's see here. Oh, we've got um look at this. This guy's a legend. He or she we have access to the railroad already. So let's just take a look at this. I've never built on this before. Looks like we've got some keys there. I love this, uh, the span of that bridge. We've got a highway coming in here, the train tracks beside it. This is a nice, cool little area. We, we're not, we don't have access to that yet. I like this. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Now, 
What would make this even better is if I had like district styles, like tropical district styles, but we're going to start just like we started before. Um, no, everything's not unlocked. We only have $70,000, monies, credits, whatever you want to call them. Um, we're still going to play vanilla in that uh, regard. Let me show you the add-ons I have. Um, these are the mods I have. What the hell is that? Oh, this is my clouds and fog toggler. I don't remember seeing that. These are the mods that I'm using. I'm using Find It. We went over that before I deleted the save point. Picker, clouds and fog toggler, just for me as a YouTuber, so I can disable like the blurry stuff. And this this called Harmony. This is uh, related to other mods. I'm actually not sure why it's here, but don't worry about that. These are the big ones. And if I add new ones during this Let's Play, I will let you know what they are. Okay. So let's take a look here. Let's think about how we want to start building. So this is our square. You can see the dotted line here. This is what we're working with. Oh, let me, hold on. Let me fix, um, let me fix my webcam here. I got to, whoops. I got to pull this up a little. So I don't really like being on this side of the screen, but um, I'm going to be on this side of the screen only because when I am doing stuff here, uh, resume, when I'm do playing with stuff over here, it pops up. You can't actually see it. So hopefully it's not too annoying. Uh, right. So let's see here. Let me look at how this highway. So we have a highway coming in this way. Um, and then this is just look, this is amazing looking the way he has this designed. So we might start building right here. It looks kind of cool. We also have another interchange here. Okay. Yeah, it's either here or here. Very nice. Okay, so just like last uh, last time when we started, in order to start laying a road, what you have to do is select the road, just drop something in, and then uh, bulldoze it. Hit your B key. Just get rid of it, and that unlocks all of your roads. Well, not all of them, but the ones you can use, the power and the water. Take my elevation step down. So let's think about this. It's kind of interesting how it comes in, and then we've got this water that we have to deal with right here. So speaking of water, let me see if I can see... Oh, my. Okay, I see arrows, but just barely. So our water flow is kind of like this way. Um, oh, this is interesting here. This is interesting. Okay, I have water flow here as well. All right, what I think I might have to do here, what I'm thinking of internally is um, the water inlet and the water outlet. The water comes across this way, and on this side, it looks like it's flowing this way, but there's just a very small pocket to work with here. What I'm worried about is if I put my water inlet here and my water outlet, like, right here, it's it's going to kind of backflow and get sucked up. So, the other thing that sucks, this is such a beautiful map, we're going to be having raw sewage out. <laughs> Not good. Hold on. What is this song? Okay. Okay. I think we're going to start over here as far as our water. Um, water inlet, water outlet. So, yeah, you can see just barely we've got water flowing here. So, I'm going to place this here for now. And our outlet... There's no sense of using this Echo, this Eco water outlet. It just doesn't. It still pollutes the water. Unless it's cheaper. Holy moly, it's... No, it's more expensive. Okay. Yeah, you may as well just go with this. So I'm just going to put this one over here. And we're just going to pollute this beautiful ocean. It's beautiful. Let's see. Let's connect these all right now i'm gonna go a lot smaller than i did last time when we started before uh we were pretty much broke now 
keep in mind, whenever you place your water pump, if it's in kind of a shallow area, you can actually suck up the water and it will, it'll go dry. So we're going to check on that. We'll keep an eye on it and see what happens there. So we're going to start here, I suppose, because we're closer here. And hopefully I can, I can make this work with the water. Um, so as far as Subscriber Island, um, that's still going to be happening. Um, and this is just way better. We're, we'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. Yes, we will. But let me see here. Um, what what uh, road is this? Do I even have that? Oh, it's just a regular four-lane road. Okay. I'm, I want to look at what he's done here. This is pretty interesting how he made this work. It looks way better than my <laughs> the stuff that I have done. I didn't actually know that you could start with this road. I don't know why I didn't know that. I just, yeah, I wasn't, I didn't know that you start with these things unlocked. So what I'm going to do here, this is going to be Main Street. Yeah, he said this is all uh, vanilla stuff that he's created this with. And I said this before, there are some content creators who create these maps in the asset editor. Just, just amazing the time that they spend. Now we may clean some of this up. I might actually like get rid of this water on the land here. I kind of like this, but like how it's flowing over. We might rework that a little bit, you know, we'll see. We'll see what we're gonna do here. Um, I've got to think about power and what's really horrible about this is the pollution that we're going to be causing. I like how he's got this railroad. Oh, this actually goes under. It goes way under the uh, the water here and comes back up on that side. Kind of cool. Let's see if I can focus here. All right, let's start a little neighborhood. Also, why is this... Why does he have grass here and I don't have grass there? I guess we don't we won't worry about it. Not a big deal. Okay. Um let's go back to roads. Let's do our regular two-lane roads here. Let's start a little neighborhood in here. Figure out where we're gonna put power. Gonna keep our intersections nice and far apart. And I'm um I'm going to try to delete stuff instead of uh, running the road over it to delete it because I found out, like, if I just ran this over, it would, that would go away, the little tree here, but it actually doesn't go away in game. It's still considered loaded. And as you your city grows, it'll get slower and slower. It takes longer and longer to load because those all those assets are still essentially there. So keep that in mind. I'm going to bridge right across here. So let's get rid of that. I'm just going to get rid of these. Can I make that work? Let's see how that looks. That looks kind of cool. That looks kind of cool. I don't mind that at all. Uh, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to come over um, because we're going to try to um, make power jump. Now, I might also have the mod called No Need for Power. But I may have deleted it. We'll see what happens. We'll find out really soon. But that would be the other mod. It just eliminates you having to use power lines. And it's just, it looks so much better in the game. I'm liking this so far. I love the way this, uh, the colors just pop here. It looks really, really nice. So that junction should be a light. And I just... Just going to leave it a light. I'll tell you what. Let's do something this season that I've never done before. I'm just going to leave the default traffic uh, management that the game uses, like lights. We're just... I'll go with whatever it gives me, um, and we'll see how it works out traffic-wise. We'll monitor it and see if it makes a difference, um, if it's any better getting rid of them using stop signs. We'll just let the game manage that and see how it works out. So let me think about how we want to lay this out. I definitely think we're going to try to clean this up a little. This water here, it's kind of weird. 
how it's just kind of flowing over like that. We will, I think I will like raise this up. We'll get rid of that water. I wanted to unpause to see if it was flowing, but yeah. So let's start our first little neighborhood right over here. So I'll use my picker tool and let's extend this just a little bit further here. And then I'm going to come off of this node and we'll come out this way. I've got to be mindful of my money here. I sure do. And I have to think about where we're going to place our power. I could start... I've never tried to start the game with just the wind turbines. I don't think it's a good call. Because I have to place five of these to get the 40 megawatts that this produces. And these are six grand a piece, so that's $30,000. So it's actually, you can see, it just doesn't... Uh, it just doesn't work very well. This costs nineteen thousand, um, just over, just over half, just under half what it would cost to put five. So we're going to go with the coal power plant. So where do we want to put this coal power plant? Where it's going to be kind of out of the way. And I think the answer to that is going to be kind of near this highway for right now. Yeah, let's. I'll just do that. I'll just do that. I don't want to do it, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to get that kind of close. This is where our power plant is going to go. Whoops. Our coal power plant. Kind of a... Well, wait a minute. i got to think about this. So if when I place this coal power plant, we're going to have to have deliveries are going to have to be made to it um, for to get it working. So... Having just said that, we're gonna actually going to put it over here. I'm going to put it right there. Um, so delivery trucks can come in this way, deliver the coal that we need or whatever fossil fuels they're going to burn, and then our neighborhood will be well away from it. I think that'll work. We've got 34 grand. Let's get a few more. Uh, let's kind of get our neighborhood set up here now. And I'm, I'm looking at this uh, coast to see what I want to do. I don't I don't think I want to build too close to this coast, but I do want to... Like, I think I want to be, like, right out in here somewhere. I really don't like deleting this stuff, but I'm going to run my road here. So I'm going to use my freeform tool, uh, my freeform road right here. And what I'm going to try to do... No, I don't like that. I want to try to um, respect the topography of the um, of the coastline here, if I can. It's kind of wasteful with um, the zoning, but I don't know if I care that much. Let's do that. I'll use my straight tool and just connect it there. I know it looks a little bit weird, but this this is not you know this is going to change up a little. But we're definitely going to remove this water. Okay. Um, water inlet, water outlet. I've got to pipe all of this in. Yes, I do. So uh, let me try to be as efficient as possible because we're probably going to end up going broke here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to stay under the the roads again. Uh, let me turn everything off here. Turn all my guidelines off. That way I can... They won't snap. I'm watching my money here. I'm going to need water over here. And I'll just cover it to save as much money as I can. So that's water piped in. Let's get some houses in here. And I'm going to start my houses... Well, how am I going to do this? What I'm really hoping is that um, what I'm really hoping is the I, I have the no need for power lines thing turned on. 
Oh, wait a minute. I don't want to... I don't want to be too close there. Let's back that up a little bit. Oh, actually, I can, because I moved my power over. So what I'm using here is the, um, the large brush to paint it in um, for these weird areas. And But what I usually use, I usually like using this, um, this marquee tool. It just works for me. And for commercial, I think we'll have commercial out here. I'm going to put some commercial out this way. And I'm going to leave space open here. And let's get rid of that, because I don't... Oh, and that one. Let's see how this works out here. Okay, I'm going to unpause. Money's going to fly down. Let me see if I... If the power... Oh, I don't... Okay, so I do have that mod. No need for power lines. That's what it's called if you want to get it. It doesn't actually show up in the mod list, but... That's going to save us a little money as well. And I also don't have to worry about... Because look at the size of these things. I was showing this to you guys last time. Look how big that is. It's just uh, kind of ridiculous. So let's let this go. We've got a lot of money left. I went way too big um, at the beginning of this on the thing that I deleted. This is also a great place for commercial, I think. Uh, well, on this side. We'll see how this works out here. We'll see what kind of places we got popping in here. Very nice. Vanilla. It's all vanilla stuff. I um, I started to try to find district styles, but we'll worry about that later. Um, I'll explain what a district style is when, when we do it. We, but once, our, once we get this kind of developed... Uh, probably the next square that we do, what I might do, because we'll have enough money by then and we'll have all that stuff unlocked, I may download a custom district style. I'll paint the whole district style in and then I will put houses in. So if I if I can find like a tropical or some kind of specific style that might be interesting, all of the houses that pop up in that area will be specific to the style I selected. You won't get like these vanilla type of houses. Not that there's uh, anything wrong with these types of houses. We are... Oh my God, we are right on the highway here. I have seen that, though. I mean, that's a little close, but... To what? Can I... Is that acceptable? I don't actually think that's acceptable, is it? These are too close. We've got to get rid of this. Those are just way too close. We're not, we'll not zone in there. Yeah, that that's ridiculous. This road, I don't know why I laid it in like that. I mean, I put it like that because I was going to put the power plant here. So as we do here on the channel, things will change up. I'm going to pull that back for sure but let's just kind of get let's see if we can get a positive um, flow here and we'll also have to think about an industry area now what I've actually never done uh, playing this game since I started playing it I've never not put an industrial area in I've never tried to make it work with just commercial and residential maybe maybe we can do that maybe we'll see if that works I don't actually know if it'll work I like this though. That's kind of cool. If I had my move it mod, I would select this node, use page down, and I would bring that down just a little bit so it's not so extreme like that. Oh, I think I've got, um, whoops. Wow, this is much smaller than I'm used to seeing. The sun? Uh, we might have day-night cycle on. We'll find out in a little bit. No more demand for residential. We, we do have it on. It's not that bad. I kind of want to block this off here. Let's look at what our pollution's doing. Yeah. 
Okay, let me turn that off. I like the idea of having it on, but it just doesn't work for the Let's Play. It just um, gets a little bit weird with shadows and a little bit hard to see. All right, it's our commercial zone popping up over here. Yeah, we have no demand for anything except for industrial. But let's, I'm going to hold off on it for right now. I don't know if that's a good thing to do. Because can't people just work in the commercial district? It might kind of really mess things up. But we're, um, let's speed up a little bit here. See what we're going to do money-wise. We're slowly creeping up positive. Yeah, you can see the pollution happening. So what it's going to do, unfortunately, it's probably going to roll and fill all of this up. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, they're screaming at me for industrial. <laughs> so... I guess we'll use this area here. Uh, I guess we'll, I guess we'll just do it. Um, let's see. Can I get a? Yeah. So we're gonna come off. Let's go. I'm gonna go ten that way. I'm gonna go ten this way. We'll make a little industrial park here, I suppose. I don't really want to do it, but it looks like the game is kind of stalling. Oh, was that not... How did that happen? Well, that one's fine. Okay, that it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be... doesn't have to be perfect. Let's uh, get my water happening here. Um, let's see. I try to be efficient, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to be super efficient. So I'll just do that. Kind of a waste... All right, let's pop this in since we do appear to be kind of stalled out here. So um, we'll do a big pocket. We've got a, such a huge demand. We may as well just do that. Get rid of these trees. Look how fast it's popping in there. So I wonder, yeah, so what would happen, I guess, until we meet this demand, no new residents are going to want to move in, I think is how that's going to work, or no more commercial, because this kind of fuels the commercial industry. So, answers that question. You can't really get around it, I suppose. Yeah, so now that we have this in, you see the residential starting to creep up immediately. You would not want to see this on, on in a place like this. <laughs> There's just no way that would fly. What a beautiful map, though. I gave this guy an award. Um, I have a ton of points in the game, and you can spend them on different things. Uh, I, I like giving content creators awards and recognitions, you know, thumbs up. Uh, if if you're new to City Skylines, or even if you're not new, you've been playing it, if you if you get something from the, the community, make sure to, to, to give that guy a thumbs up. It Because uh, some of these guys are really passionate. Some of these guys and gals are super passionate about what they do. And they create some unbelievable stuff. And I, I think it goes a long way. We did that with Scotland Tom. We played on a really amazing looking map. I think I deleted that save point too, didn't I? <laughs> I don't know. It may That may have just kind of come to an end. I don't remember. Anyway, we are positive citizen wise and we are going to start making money i played this one way better than i started than i played the other one but i'll tell you what as soon as we unlock this the landscaping uh with at 1100 people i am going to close this off uh, and we're going to see if we can get rid of this water because i want to take advantage of all of this I, i'm not going to mess with where it's blue we just close the shore there but i want to get rid of this the water running over here that way we can we're, we're going to, you know, just stick to the topography, um, the shoreline, and we'll have a nice, cool-looking little place. Yeah. And if I had any damn sense, well, I don't know. I didn't have the money to do it. 
What would be ideal is to move this industry over to where, to where this train track is. It would be fantastic. And I'm looking. How could I make this work? It's a very interesting layout. And this is some cool stuff. I don't know what we're going to do over here, but I love this roundabout he has. He's created here. And what is that? What the hell? That's not... It's supposed to be a tunnel, but... Uh, I'm sure it's functional, but it looks like it's filled in. I don't... I'm sure it's not filled in. So look at the rocks he's got created here, like a little natural uh, guardrail. I mean, that's... Those rocks wouldn't give. Guardrails are designed to kind of give a little bit when you crash into them. Uh, more demand for residential. Let's do it. So this is definitely going to change here. Actually, do I... Maybe we'll just line this with trees. I, I think that's what we'll do. I think I'll just leave what I have in beer, uh, have in there. But let's uh, keep extending this. Uh, mulligan. <laughs> can do a mulligan here. Where's my man Phonojam would say? We're going to finagle. Do some finagling here. Yeah, we're going to bring this right around. Where do we bring it around to? A uh, funky town. Yes. If you don't know, we do bring, generally bring everything around to funky town. Kind of a close intersection right there. I don't actually like that. So I'm going to turn everything off here. I'm going to bring this to like right here. Yeah. It's kind of nice not using the grid pattern. When you have a, when you have interesting shapes like this, it, um, it's a lot easier not to use grid patterns. But we're going to have straight areas, uh, you know, of course. But down near the shoreline and stuff, we'll try to avoid them. I'm going to come straight across there. Did I just see a frowny face right there? You know what will happen, right? <laughs> House deleted. Let's do that. Uh, another thing I might incorporate is the forest brush. It's really, really handy for laying trees. The forest brush, you can create like a tropical theme with coconut trees or palm trees. You can pick the trees you want for your palette. And then you can use the brush and lay a bunch of them in at one time. It's kind of nice. Yes. Trees that are too close to water, uh, this happens. Kind of, they lose like the leaves. They, they end up looking a little bit weird. love this uh how he's got this pond here this like little lake this is beautiful i'm gonna put some more trees around that for sure maybe a walking path over that or something okay we are oh we're gonna hit our milestone we're gonna hit uh what is it 420 oh it's 380 <laughs> 420 i thought there was a 420 milestone Uh, oh, houses. Look at me, man. I <laughs> Let me put some houses in. Uh, let me let me pipe in first. Turn all that off. Is it not going to let me connect there? Kind of weird. Okay. Also, I noticed... Why did I not... There it is. Little Hamlet. Now we have taxes. First thing you do when you unlock taxes... Well, we'll review it. Now, so we have to worry about garbage, healthcare, and education. Um, education first. Well, garbage and education first, for sure. Um, that should pause the game for us. I don't know why. Oh, because of the, the way that I ran the road there. No problem. Um, so first things first. As soon as you hit that, go into economy, go into taxes, crank this up from 9 to 12. This will help you out a lot. And we'll do the same when we unlock the high-density stuff. That increases our revenue. But I gotta get houses in here right now. I guess we're just not gonna have anything right there <laughs> because of the way that I dropped the road in. A little bit weird. That's fine. That's, that's absolutely fine. But we're gonna start filling in on this side. 
Uh, so I'm going to use the, the, the fill, this one right here. This is great for just kind of dropping stuff in like this. Many different ways to do it. And do I want them that close? Do I want to zone on that side? I, I don't think we actually will. I think I'm going to line this with trees. I think it'll look a lot nicer. I think we could put something potentially right there, though. Let's actually put a little... Put a little corner store right there, I think, maybe. And we'll also... Nope, I don't want it like that. This area here, let's put... Oh, I'm going to have to get rid of that tree. We'll do that. All this would be commercial. And we'll do some more commercial. I don't want to zone up to that, so we'll just do this. I don't think it's a good idea to zone up to these uh, larger collector roads, but we need to get houses in here. So let's, uh, while it's paused, let me get my road tool. Let's um, let's throw some houses in here. So here, I'm going to, should I pack them in? Let's pack them in. How do I want to do this? I guess we could do this. I kind of want to take advantage. I do want to use this grid if I can efficiently. But I'm going to leave uh, enough space there. Uh, one more right here. Because I don't want to I don't want to break what's already there. That's kind of interesting. Just delete this stuff. Let's fill all of this in. Yeah, we're going to go... It's a massive demand. So we just do that. Fill all of this in. Let's see what we get. And I'm piped in? No. Not piped in. So I'm gonna break, I'm gonna break my rule. I'm gonna do this. It's a little bit more efficient than trying to like put one under all of those damn roads right there. Why can't I hit that? Is it right there? It's one more up. Okay. I'll just do that. And I gotta remember that's not piped in if I decide to do something there. Okay, let's unpause. That should fill in quite quite uh quickly. Increase the speed a little bit here. We have a positive cash flow and a positive people flow. Yes, we do. Yeah, I gotta say, maybe a blessing in disguise, me deleting the save point, because I'm I'm really feeling this map. I gotta say. Uh, but we're gonna have to get on education. I need, let's drop a school in while I can afford it. And let me look at where I've zoned in here. Think about where we want the school. I think we're gonna put our elementary school right here. Yeah, we need to put that in. It takes a chunk of money, but we need to start educating people immediately. And I want to connect this road here. Um, so let me let me plan out. I'm gonna turn all of my Snap2 stuff off, and I'm gonna go to my freeform road tool. Boy, that's gonna. This water is really kind of messing me up here. It actually wants to create a bridge there. Look at that. That's interesting. Let me see if I can avoid the bridge. Uh, let me turn that back on. I want to try to tie into that. Just just like that. Oh, that actually, that's actually nice. It actually created like a berm right there, which is fine. It's not the straightest, but you know what? Roads aren't always perfectly curved or perfectly straight. What I want to do here, though, I, w I do want to tie this straight in, so... Finagle, Mulligan. I, I've got to do that because I want people to have a straight shot to this elementary school. Oh boy, garbage. Oh, not a landfill. It's going to have to be a landfill. I got to do this. You can see people complaining. So we're going to put the landfill over here. I'm going to put it right there. They'll start sending out trucks immediately. Look at this place. <laughs> There they go. There they go. How are these lights working out? I've this yeah. 
Let's do that this season. Let's, um, I'm not going to mess with, I'm just going to let the game handle the stoplights. So you'll basically have a stoplight anywhere there's a larger road to a smaller road or a collector to a local road. It'll, it'll have a stoplight. We're just going to leave it and see how it works out. These smaller roads will not have stoplights. They'll just have stop signs if it's the same type of road running into each other. I love watching it on slow speed sometimes, but I kind of like what happened here. Oh, we heard Worthy Village. We are uh, kicking it. So we can unlock another tile, but no need to now, maybe. We've got loans. We can do districts. So we're going to need, right away, we're going to need fire department and police department. Choose the fire department first, for sure. Um, Because if something catches on fire... By default, I think fire spreading is enabled, and if you don't have any way to put it out, you can just burn your whole neighborhood down. The question is, can we afford the fire department? And yes, we can afford it. So let's, we want this kind of central here, but we also kind of want it close to the industry area. I think what I'm going to do, how, where do I want to put this? You can see the green is the, the coverage. For right now, I want it closer to the industry area honestly so i'm going to put it i'm going to put it right here that way they can pull out and go either way let's check how we're doing here power good to go oh i love that we don't need power lines again that's called no need for power lines i think is the name of that mod water let's be proactive and Let's pipe this in. Got some gaps and stuff happening there. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. I guess I'll come out this way. I don't know if I'm ever going to zone in right there, but we might. We might. All right. Garbage is working. Healthcare. Not super important. You generally... Oh, we have five, six citizens. I almost never see that this early. It's always like none. Yeah, these two people are sick. What's wrong with you? <laughs> it's not like noise pollution. If they get sick from noise pollution, they'll you'll see there'll be a flashing icon. But let's let's get a clinic in here for my people. For my people. We'll just do a small clinic. And since this is not zoned in yet, let's put a small clinic right there. Because this stuff hasn't popped in yet. Seems like a good place for it. And just unzone that. Oh, I think it actually takes away. So should be fine. Digging it. I'm digging it. And I'm going to use my picker tool to select this palm tree. And it's going to put more in my hand. And we're just going to put some random trees in here. Like a natural little barrier and trees do actually work as a sound barrier in this game they sure do yeah, just, just kind of like that you know yeah oh, I like that yeah I like that that looks nice what I might do eventually is put guardrails <clears throat> or a sound barrier on these highways it looks a lot like this, but he doesn't have it there yet. Or he didn't include it when he built it. But I love what he did with this bridge. So he definitely used... I'm going to say he definitely used the... Um, what is it called? I mention it all the time. I can't remember. It allows you to put both, both lanes in at the same time, and it matches them up uh, perfectly. We have no demand for anything. We're making money, like two grand a week. Off to a, a hell of a start here. Off to a great start. This is not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it's still pretty horrible. Just nothing you can do with that in the vanilla game with nothing unlocked. You've got to hit a pretty high population before you get the clean one. So not a big deal. I love the effect where the water is shallow, how blue it is like that. It looks really, really nice. What are we doing on time? Okay, we're about 45 minutes in. 
But I know uh, we're going to have the residential demand is going to keep going up. So we are going to, um, yeah, we're just going to keep this little cool little water feature right here. Even the, look at the pollution zone. It, because of the, the color theme we have, it's it's pink instead of, what is, it's usually like brownish red or something disgusting. My nose is, a, she's a itching. Anyway, let's anticipate some more residential wanting to come in. I should have left a space open there. I think I'm just going to leave that like it is. Let's just do this. We'll just have some, uh, we'll have some unusual, some unusual zoning here. I don't mind it. It's an unusual space anyway. Let's do that. Yeah, just, we'll just do this. We'll get some really unique and unusual stuff happening there. Should have left something open here. This might be a good place for a path. I think we're going to put some palm trees right there. Um, let's mulligan. Actually, do I? What do I want to do with this space? I could. We could do like a little park in here. It's kind of unique. Maybe we do that. I'll leave that for right now. I'll leave it for right now. And this space here, let's grab. Let's grab these guys. These guys over here. Is that the right thing? Yeah, it's the right area. Whoops. Give me that. Put a couple of palm trees right here. Wherever we can get them. That's good enough. Okay. Um, are we piped in? This is that one little space. So... Okay, I'm just going to cheat. Okay, I'm just going to cheat there. <laughs> I always say I'm going to stay under the roads. And literally the first chance I get, I'm like, nah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, we've got some pretty unusual, unusual spaces right here. The best way to fill this stuff in, honestly, is the... The fill, the paint, uh, the paint thing here. Let's fill all this in. Get some wild and crazy stuff happening. Um, let's get rid of that, and that, and that. I suppose, and let's well get rid of these so the game doesn't try to build over them. Sometimes the house will build if it's like a, if it's if it's just right, you won't lose the tree, but I'm going to try to make an effort to do that. What's going on here? Oh, we need a police station. Okay, we can afford it. Let's get the police station in. Where is our fire departments up here? So I kind of I always kind of like to put these guys together. We're going to put him I want him to be a little bit closer. I do want him to be a little bit closer. Let's put him right here. Tiny town. It always happens. I'm trying to play something. We're actually growing really fast here. So landscaping is unlocked. I can fix that uh, the little water thing. We have parks and plazas unlocked. Access to new roads and some uh, canals, fences, playgrounds. We got a high school we got to worry about. But right now, boom, police station is in. It's nice and shiny. So before we wrap this up, well, first things first, let me save the game. Uh, what did we name this place? It's Paradise, right? Yeah, Paradise. Let's see if I cannot destroy a save point uh, this time. So the reason I've saved that is because I'm getting ready to mess with some water. So I'm going to go to my landscaping tool, and all I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the level terrain. I'm going to click it, increase the brush strength a little. Let's go like a medium brush. I'm going to right click to adjust or to set the height, and then I'm going to left click, and I'm going to drag across. And we're literally just going to do that. It's all we're going to do. And then for this, 
I'm going to do the same. We're going to left click, right click. I'm going to close that up. And what I'm hoping is going to happen is this water, it actually might not disappear. The way that I ha might have to get rid of this is actually bring this up. Let's just go small like that and see what happens. I'm going to speed up here. So as you can see, I might have to dig this out just a teeny bit here. These are going to move. The water inlet and the water outlets, they are going to move. Let's go back down to normal speed. Let me just do something right here. I feel like this needs to be deeper. So I'm just going to I'm going to back that up a little bit. Just a little bit. see what happens there okay it feels a little bit better that it's a little bit deeper these are the weirdest looking things and they're like gigantic they look kind of cool though okay um i guess i'll we'll see what happens with this water sometimes when you do that the water will kind of disappear over time if it doesn't i will force it out i'll raise it up we might have a little bit of flooding but We'll see what happens there. We had no demand for industry, and we've got a little bit, but since I put this stuff in, this is another place where I... Let's see if we can push this water off. Maybe it'll flow that way. I kind of... I want... Like, this is a little bit weird right here. This is usually how you have to get rid of it. Once you do this, you'll have this flooding, but it'll kind of disperse and disappear. We might have some flooding in here. We'll see what happens. Might be able to somehow tie this industry area over here. Yeah, we got some flooding. This should just, yeah, it should just go away. It's, it's not that big of a deal. Let me double speed here. Yeah, nothing. They shouldn't go abandoned or anything. Okay, good. Take care of that. I might have to do the same here, but I'm kind of I'm more nervous about this one because all of these houses. <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right. Well, I think we have to wrap it up here. We're closing in on an hour. Again, I am I do apologize for deleting the save point. It was not intentional. What's funny about that is I deleted something I didn't want to delete and didn't delete any of everything else I want to delete. <laughs> I wanted to delete all those maps and crap. Guess I'm not going to worry about it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think, man. I think this is a beautiful area. And like I said, um, after we kind of maybe fill up the square or, you know, we get it, a decent amount of money and the population is growing, we're pr I'm probably going to try to do a district style, a district theme, and see what that looks like maybe out here. Maybe for Subscriber Island, we will do that. I'm just completely in love with this guy's traffic flow here, man. This is just like really imaginative and creative how he left this water feature in here. We can work with this, I think, little fishing area. And I don't know what these are. I th This might be something in real life. It, maybe it uh, helps keep the water down or something. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Anyway, let's wrap this one up. Go back to uh, old single speed here. Yeah, this is lovely. We'll get Subscriber Island happening again. We'll get something going on. I mean, we're basically, this whole place is an island. Maybe we'll have uh, like Mansion Row, like maybe over here. Um, and that gives me time to see who else may want to live there. Because at the time of this, I have still not seen your comments um, for this coming weekend because it's not the weekend for me yet. But right now, We've got Terra, we've got Phonojam, and we've got Rai. Um, but we'll get anybody who wants to live. Uh, it might maybe a little gated community. That's I'm feeling like a gated community for our for our subs. Anyway, let's do a little of that, and let's do a little of this. See if we get some nice views here. Yeah, maybe a blessing in disguise, you know? Let's be honest. <laughs> Two rivers? That place was jacked up. <laughs> that, 
There was some pretty wonky stuff with the highway uh, on that last episode. Oh boy, that was pretty brutal. This feels better. I also love these bright colors. They are just, they are a poppin'. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I do appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying this. I love this game. We're going to have a lot of fun with it this season. Yes, we are. You guys and gals, take care. I will see you in the next episode, provided it's not deleted. Peace.